No, no, I'm not having that. That can't go that, in. Every day. What do you mean it can't it's go It's shit. It's not a shit. A daily driver classic. The best classic car you can use every day, and that is sent in by Cameron Oliver. Cameron Oliver, great yeah, question. Good topic. Oh, it is a very good yeah, topic, yeah, that, isn't it? Taylor, do you want to kick us off? What's the best, what, usable classic daily? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Right. What do you think? Well, what, do you think? what are we counting as a classic first? All right, let's go minimum 30 years. Minimum 30 okay, years. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't want to be a generic BMW fan, but... Oh, here we go. I think it's got to be the BMW E30. Oh, yeah, because they don't rust, do they? No. They do rust. You should see mine. Oh, yours is rotten. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. You wait. In an upcoming episode, you are going to be shocked oh, at how it's rotten. How I'm getting that bad. MOT tomorrow. Well, it's going to fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it to fail. Well, I'm, I don't want it to fail. I know it's going to fail. I I'm just want to know what it's going to fail on. I'm surprised body hasn't come off the chassis on that Oh, car. it will tomorrow when he and, tries to jack it up. And speaking of rusting E30s, um, Taylor, how's the boot of yours? Where? As mm. it turns out. Mm. Well, I had my E30 painted and they took the boot lid off. And yeah. ever since they put it back on, it leaks. Oh, no. So I think it's slightly so this out doesn't, of line. It doesn't sound like a very good car for a future classic. Well, not a future. No, but it's all right. It just needs a bit of adjustment. But anyway, the E30, I think, is a very usable daily Any particular driver. kind of model designation engine? Um, they're all pretty reliable, to be honest. I mean, even the four cylinders are really reliable. Yep. The, the M43 engine is bulletproof, the 16 valve and the M44. Even the eight valves are really bulletproof. In fact, I know someone that used to drift with one of those engines. Oh, really? And it ran out of coolant, heat seized. <laughs> they let it cool down for about an hour or so, filled it back up with water and started it up and carried on. Shame that didn't happen to the Jag. Mm. <laughs> on the Nurburgring. Oh, great. could you imagine? But yeah, they're, they're really good engines. The yep. 325i is very good. Yeah, we they, love them. They do go rusty, but I, th I feel like if you look after them, you know, clean the arches out yep. when they get dirty, under seal them, wax oil them, whatever you've got to do. They're really good cars. They're yep. nice to drive. They're comfortable. Very spacious as very well. Very spacious. Yep. I think they're quite practical. And, you know, they're just very nice. And the really cool thing about the E30 Touring is that it is the first ever BMW Touring, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, yeah which yeah. is so cool. And I don't just mean the Touring as well. All of the body styles of E30, they're all good, usable cars, yeah. I think. And also, because they were very popular, you can get parts for them quite yeah. cheaply yeah. and reasonably. Obviously, depending on what parts. Some of them are quite rare now. But what about, like, serviceable items? Are serviceable they easy to get? Serviceable items, yeah, yeah. They're very easy and to get. And easy to work on car? Yeah, and very easy to work on as well, okay, yeah. Okay, nice. I think they're very, very good usable daily drivers, e And they're also good cars to work on yourself as well. Nice. Nice. Yeah. If you ever want to do any bits on them, they're, they're, as we've experienced, they're very easy Indeed. to work on. That's what we like to hear. Uh, except for the whole coilover thing, you need to do a bit of welding if you yeah. want to put coilovers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. that is a bit of a yeah. pain. But if you want to keep your original suspension and just change the shocks, they're quite easy to change. Yeah, so. nice. All right, so there's E30 there. I'm going to chip in now with a car that I've had for a couple of years, or three years now, and that is my Porsche 944. Oh, that's a good mm. one, yeah. Yeah, so you can pick up a good one now for about eight grand minus for sale, by the way. Is I've it? got a man coming. No, when? You yeah. keep saying this. Y yeah. yeah, I just I, f I keep on forgetting. But no, he's very, very keen. You're not very good at selling things I'm to not. anyone but Taylor. But Taylor, yeah. <laughs> I, just you buy buy your, I just buy all your old turf, <laughs> literally. Uh, but what I will say for the 944, uh, my one is not rusty. I, I think they do tend to go rusty, so make sure you get one that doesn't have much rust. But they are super reliable. The engines are very robust. I've just got, you know, the bog standard, 2.5, 163 horsepower. I can do easily 70, 80 miles an hour on the M40 only. I would never dream of Eight, doing 80 that. 80 miles an hour? Yeah, on the M40, yeah. It's got no speed limits. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah, know that. Do you not Is know it, that? Do you mean it's got no speed cameras? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, yeah, no, my bad. No, but it gets up to 80 really quickly. Um, I think it's really usable because it's practical, it's comfortable, and it does have rear seats that are kind of like, it's a two plus two. But when you fold those rear seats down and you open up the massive boot, the massive glass panel, also just lift it from the middle. Don't lift it from the sides because you can crack. But really? when you have the seats down, then it's huge. It's like an estate. Mm. And it is, I've, I've had no troubles with it. It's you really used good. it. Well, no, but when I have used it, you well, never I went, use I went it. on the rally. When was that? The last I went time on the London to Brighton rally with it. The last that, that time you car, drove that it does car, have an exhaust blow. It, it developed an exhaust blow, and the headlights don't work. I would love to see the <sighs> MOT history for the last three years of that car. How oh, much? How much? <laughs> can we do that? Actually, let's do that. Fine. Yeah. Okay. You Let, can let's look see up. how many miles your car has actually done over the last few years. Because <laughs> I don't think it's a lot at all. I don't even know if it's got an MOT at the moment. No, I think it does. I think it does. But no. Um, what, what's the number plate on it? 
Uh, CPB. CPB. 679Y. 679Y. It's over my there. Head. I know it is over there. Maybe <laughs> I should. Um, I can't see because my E30 is in the way. This MOT is expired. What is, does it say Porsche 944? It is Porsche 944, yeah. It, ex it expired on the 21st of September, so it's almost a month it's been expired. For. Oh, well, it's in a unit. It's all right. Also, because it's, um, how old is it? 40 years old? No, is it? It's older. Than <gasps> it's, Wait, does it's that mean it's MOT exempt? MOT and tax exempt. So how, how has it got no MOT if it's exempt? So it will still come up saying MOT expired, but it will say this vehicle may be MOT exempt for more information. Oh, so, so, that's yeah. good. oh, okay. Also, whoever's phone is binging. That's mine. Um, Mute it. I, yeah, I, it's it's it not really actually annoying. my phone. It's my watch, and I don't Can know you how take to. Your watch you swipe up from the bottom, and then you. Standard Taylor. It, and then it comes up with a little menu. <laughs> oh, Look at that! Oh, there sorry. we go. I've been trying to work oh that out God. for days. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did it in my sleep when I fell, I fell asleep. All right. Anyway, nine four four. So uh, very usable classic. What? You, oh, so it's done. Christ. It's done more miles than I thought it would have done. Actually. All right. Here we go. Come All on. All right. So in well, I don't know how much it's got now, but from the year to the year before, it had done just under two thousand miles, which is <gasps> yeah. That's, that's not a too fair bad. Bit. Yeah, that is a fair bit. Because I did use used to use it as a didn't bit you, of a daily. You took it to the Nurburgring, didn't you? No. Or did you take it to Europe or something? No. I saw Do you, you know what? I, I just looked and then so from the year and the year before that, well, I, what I thought was the year before that, there was a thousand two hundred. But then I realised it just wasn't MOT. <laughs> so it it missed. Uh, yeah, for, so it got MOT'd in 2019 on, in May, but then the next MOT was May 2021. I oh, see, so you missed a year. Well, no, I didn't drive it. I sawned it. Put your phone down, Rory. This podcast is sponsored by our very good friends, Woodford Trailers, where you can get a massive 10% off. Yes, 10% off your Woodford Trailers order. We are very proud owners of Woodford Trailers, aren't we, Taylor? We are indeed. We've I got, love what have mine. we got? The Woodford Auto Cruiser. Auto Cruiser, which, which is, is the Rolls Royce of trailers. And it's extremely light compared to the competitors. Yeah, as well. so ours is like 500 and something kilos. Yours is a little bit heavier because you've got the triple axle. I've got the biggest of the you big. You have got the big, big, big boy. And we've got the double axle. You can get a motorbike trailer, you can get car trailers, enclosed trailers, everything you want for trailering. Use the code Auto Alex. And also, yeah. thanks to new UK laws, well, not even new anymore, anyone can drive a trailer anymore. Even me. Even even this idiot. <laughs> so if you want to be an idiot like Rory, not really. If you want to get yourself a trailer, then stick to Woodford Trailers where you can get 10% off. Using the code AUTOALEX. 944, great usable classic. Rory? Um, yeah, so I'd like to say this is a great topic because also... It just means, you know what's the great thing about having like a classic as an everyday car? Usually, you know, you buy these modern cars, whatever, they're just dropping down in value loads. You have a classic, it's, it's either going to be, by the time you come to sell it, it will either be worth more or the same as what you bought it for. Yes. Yeah, you that that really is the great thing about money, this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You may have to spend a bit more money doing them up and fixing them, but it, it's, a, it's a great topic. I mean, I you also this. save money by not having to MOT and tax it. Only if yeah. it's historic. Oh, yeah. yeah, it needs to be 40 years old for that. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Or if your name's Alex. Oh, shut up. <laughs> don't you start <laughs> on me, Taylor. <laughs> Mr. I don't drive anywhere with tax. I always tax my cars. Rich, take the KN. <laughs> Taxed, MOT, insured, lovely, lovely, well done. Fur. Anyway, we're going to get you in trouble now. Rory, <laughs> what's, what's your car? So my car, I own. Oh, boring. Actually, no, I own mine as well. And it is a... Land Rover Defender. No, no, I'm not having that. That can't go that, in. Every day. What do you mean it can't it's go It's shit. It's not a shit. A daily driver classic. A yes. Land Rover. Are you serious? Uh, look, what have you been smoking? You must see loads, loads of people drive a Land Rover. Well, well, you as need as a, a hip replacement a, after a week. They, I, they thought, I, thought I, saw, I thought I saw look, a bag I, full of brown in the back of that XJ. He's been smoking something. Yeah. I will admit the top speed is, is a little to be desired. What, is it comfortable? Yes. Is it uh, quiet and refined? With noise cancelling headphones, what, yes. What's the oil consumption like? What's the fuel consumption like? Fuel consumption's not that bad, actually. Shut up. Fuel consumption is better. No, no, no. Fuel consumption, not oil consumption, Rory. <laughs> no, so in, in that car, and I'm being honest here, I can get low 30s quite easily. What about reliability? Yeah, Rory. What about safety? What about safety? Are, are they likely to get stolen at all? Yeah, would they get... What, actually, what? actually... <laughs> When, when Rory was uh, on the phone to Ellie on the little um, whatever Skype call or whatever, oh, he, he said to the lady who owns that house, 
Um, so, um, yeah, have you ever had any trouble with uh, people, you know, thieves, like stealing cars or anything? Because <laughs> I've got to defend it's a classic and uh, yeah, it's very desirable, gets stolen quite a lot. So, Rory, what about stealability? If this was a game of Top Trumps, you would lose. Yeah. You are like the bottom feeder. But it's only Top because Trumps. people love them so much and want them that they no, steal I, them. I think it's because you could open the door with the key from a shed. Uh, no, it's because you can open the door with a Phillips screwdriver, thank you very but much. But anyway... Uh, are you seriously recommending a def Defender as yes. a daily driver classic? I think they are a great... The thing is with a Defender... It's mental. You it can off his trolley. Yeah. You can modernise it quite a lot. Like, so you can still have the classic car, but you can put in, you know... Oh, yeah, more, only, yeah. you only have to spend 10 grand on it. Yeah, but you can do that uh, with any car. <laughs> 10 grand doesn't get you anything. Um, How much have you spent on yours? <laughs> so okay let's let's start from the top how much did you buy that car for? so i got a very good deal on my defender it is a galvanized chassis 110 van um and i got that for and it's definitely one vehicle it's not like a it's not stolen we, it's not loads look, of different look, vehicles every, put every defender is loads of different vehicles brilliant put together. great um and i got that for six and a half grand okay how much have you spent on it rory how much have i spent maintaining it not a lot no, how much have you spent on it? Just, just your ownership experience. <laughs> Are we including the roof tent and 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 yeah, the whole all of it? Yeah, every, all chuck of it, it all everything, in, yeah, yeah. all of it. Yeah. To get it to the point where it is today, how much have you spent it? Five, twenty-five. What? What? Sorry, what? Twenty-five. Twenty-five thousand pounds. Wow. <laughs> twenty-five grand on a Defender. Oh my god. So the engine must be like tip top. Yes. What, what, it is what? now that I've put some coolant stop leak in it. It's lovely. Um, <sighs> didn't you say that you took it out the other day and... I, I, just correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm sure I remember a phone call of you saying, Taylor, I've got a problem with my Defender. I've taken the key out and the engine's still running. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, you know what? That, that's, it's turbo cool down that. Oh, I, I yeah, like a turbo right. timer. Yeah, right. it's got a turbo timer. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it do, it's only about 30 seconds it was That's the start for. of Diesel Runaway, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what it is, but all I remember from that Defender is every time he drives it, he gets a problem with it. Yeah. And whenever he does drive it here, which is what? Oh, two, two out. seconds. Oh, there's there's a man at the door. Is that your tyres, Rory? It could be the tyres, or it could be the headliner for the S4. Oh. Anyway, what were we saying? He's an idiot. He's a moron. Don't listen to him. A daily driver usable classic. He every, reckons a Defender. Every time he drives it here, yeah. he parks up outside and there's an LGBT rainbow on the floor. Yes. And then yeah, he has to yeah. top up the oil again before he drives it home. Anyway, uh, another car. What were you oh. going to say? Yeah. I reckon mm. Mm, good usable... Because you've got one. Yes, I am. Go on, what is it? Peugeot 205 GTI. Oh, how mm. much are they worth these days? They're worth quite a lot, I won't lie. They're not very cheap anymore. Is it a 10 grand car now? A mm, little bit more than that. Is it? Well, for a nice one, yes. Okay. You can pick them up to less than 10 grand. Yeah. But I think they would make a really good daily driver because they're very easy to work on. Yeah. They are as basic as basic gets. Yeah, good it's fuel economy. Great fuel good economy. Good fun. Yeah. Uh, not so good on long journeys and motorway driving. No. If you do a lot of motorway driving, I probably wouldn't recommend. But yeah. I, and they're just so much fun. Yeah. While you were gone faffing about, Taylor was talking about the Tour Five GTI as a good usable classic. We decided that your decision uh, of a Defender was shit, so we're probably just going to edit it it's out. Irrelevant. Just, yeah. yeah just forget really everything that Rory said because he knows nothing about cars. Also, Defender, you can put an M57 BMW engine in it. Oh, yeah, because that's a 10-minute job. Yeah, you have to do so much work to make it a usable classic. Rory, I don't think you're getting the point here. I don't think a vehicle that you would be scared to park anywhere yep. or that you have to change the engine into and make half decent would make a good daily driver. So you, sir, are an idiot. Peugeot 205 GTI, very good choice. Also, uh, we'll just rattle through this. Um, a Mercedes 190E, very, very robust. And they're really cheap at the moment as well. Yeah, they are cheap. 190Es are really cheap. Uh, also, Mercedes-Benz, they also stock all the parts, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, in their classic centre or so. So yeah. if you need anything like wishbones, bushes, then you can go to Mercedes Classics and get all those yeah, parts. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. So you can keep them on the road. And they they are literally bulletproof. Yeah. They are great and cars. Uh, although they're not that fun, they're just really nice to float about in. Yep. Make a great daily driver, great on the motorway. And again, good on fuel. Unlike the Defender. Rory, you're an idiot. We're going to stop this uh, podcast topic there. <laughs>